I'm Sarah Schulberg, a biochemistry student in the class of 2018. Today I'm going to teach you how to properly measure and weigh materials. Before we begin, make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment. Goggles, a lab coat or apron, and some gloves. You need different equipment for measuring solids and liquids. For solids, you'll need a spatula and some weigh boats. For liquids, a graduated cylinder and a beaker. Today, I'm going to measure out 3 grams of sodium carbonate. First, plug in the scale. Before we begin measuring the solids, you need to open the lid and turn on the scale. Notice that the scale does not read zero. To correct this, press the zero button. In order to measure solids, you need a weigh boat to contain the solid. Place the weigh boat on the scale and zero the scale again. As previously stated, we're going to measure out 3 grams of sodium carbonate. Begin by pouring the solid into the weigh boat. When you get close to your desired value, use the spatula. If you go over, take some of the solid and put it into a different weigh boat. Just remember that weigh boats are disposable. Once you've used them once, you can throw it away. Now we're going to discuss how to measure liquids. You'll need a graduated cylinder, an RLMRI flask, and your solution. Today we're using deionized water mixed with food coloring so that you can see it. Be at eye level while pouring so that you can see the bottom of the meniscus reach the line of desired measurement. I'm going to measure out 30 milliliters of deionized water. Now transfer your solution into the flask. If you're given the amount in grams instead of milliliters, you're going to need to convert into milliliters using the density of the liquid. Let's say we need to measure out 3 grams of dichloromethane, abbreviated as DCM. We take the density of dichloromethane, 1.33 grams per milliliters, and divide to cancel out the grams and are left with 2.26 milliliters of dichloromethane.